Hi, I'm Dr. Martha Peterson. I'm a professor in the College of Medicine in the Department of Microbiology, Immunology, and Molecular Genetics, and I'm a Senior Associate Vice President for Research. And I'm her husband, Brett Spear, and I'm also a professor in the College of Medicine in the Department of Microbiology, Immunology, and Molecular Genetics. Well, we, we were uh, graduate students at the University of Wisconsin in Madison. Yeah, we were in the same program. Actually, I, I was a TA for the lab course, because I was a year ahead of them. Right. I met him that way. Mm -hmm. She gave me a B. <laughs> People often assume I got an A in that course, but it was a B. <laughs> <laughs> we got married. I moved to Philadelphia and did a postdoc there. Then when he graduated, he did a postdoc up at Princeton, and then we needed to find jobs together. So when we moved here um, in 1989, our son was six months old, and we got the labs going, and uh, we've been here ever since. So my research is in the area of liver disease, and I study liver cancer. My research is gene regulation, I would say, in the broadest sense. I study, actually, RNA is my favorite molecule. A lot of what we do is to train students. And I should point out, too, what we do is very basic research, but these are complex diseases and we are learning more every day. When we first came here, we had independent research projects. They were similar and we could talk with each other. But about 12 years ago, there was a project and it had to do with liver disease, but Martha's expertise really was relevant to this project. So we actually started working together to clone a gene that was gonna be involved with liver cancer. And after about four years, we cloned that gene. And I can still remember my graduate student with that piece of data, and it was that eureka moment that rarely happens. The feeling was, finally, we've discovered this gene, everything else is gonna be simple. Well, we've learned a lot of new things, but we've also learned that it's a lot more complicated than we thought. We so, still don't know how exactly it's working. <laughs> that, that's the challenge of basic research. You, you make a discovery and you think you've made some progress, and you have, but it just leads to more and more questions. So we've continued to collaborate. We have joint lab meetings and we mentor students together. So we work pretty closely together and I think it's, it's worked out well for us. And pretty much daily. So at home, we don't talk that much science, although every once in a while, you know, wheels start turning and say, and I remember something, oh, I get to, we gotta talk about this, <laughs> so. Sometimes I have to tell her to calm down a little bit. <laughs> It was more important when we had, our, our children are both grown now, but when our kids were young and we'd go home, it was important that we didn't sit around the dining room table and talk about grants and research, um, but talk about other things. So, I think that there are, are plenty of married couples who really could not work together very well, but it works for us. Martha mentioned that we have different last names. One thing that's fun for me is that when I meet people on campus and something will come up about Dr. Peterson or something, and people always talk about how, oh, I just love Dr. Peterson, oh, oh, Martha's great, and they'll say this and they don't know that I'm her husband. And so it's really fun when I hear that and, and I can say, oh, I know, she's my wife, and people go, wow. So, so that's one thing I really enjoy. Brett is so passionate about a number of different things. He's very passionate about the graduate students, and I know that he just loves that. One thing that I really admire in Martha is she's a very logical thinker. I think I probably admire that because I'm not a logical thinker. He's the creative one, so I can always rely on him to, to sort of come up with maybe a different way of looking at things. And he keeps us both laughing. <laughs> He's got a good sense of humor. <laughs> I guess in some ways we, we complement each other with the different ways we think. We know that what we do may not have an impact for a long time because you know going from understanding the molecular aspect of a disease to treatment is, is a long road, but liver disease is a growing disease in Kentucky, so we have to figure out what causes the problems. And hopefully the research somewhere down the road will, will have an impact. I'm Dr. Martha Peterson. And I'm Dr. Brett Spear. And, and we're, we're proud, proud to be a, a Big, big Blue, Blue Family. family.